Oh, wait, I was muted. Oh, wait, where's my chat over there? Hello? Chat? Why are you guys all the way over there? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! What is that? Wait! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 fuck! Yara just subscribed. Oh! My eyes oh, shit! Shishio is back. Oh! Oh! Thank you, Aki! And, uh... Aki, Kiara! Kuma, the three! Damn, let's go! Wait, why is my chat over there? Just subscribe. Oh my god. I have not touched my OBS for so long. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, why is there no throw? Hello? Oh my god, I like how I come back and everything is just so, um, everything is just so scuffed, okay. Okay, <laughs> wait, 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 what the fuck's happening? Jesus Christ. Okay, let me lower down my music, she has my music is like so loud. Okay. <laughs> I'm at school right now being a student teacher. But I'm good. Good luck, good luck! She just okay, wait. What the fuck's happening? Uh, how are you all? Wait, I'll read the message in a bit after I fix everything. Uh oh my god, I have not looked at my thing for such a long time now. Jesus Christ. Where's everything? Or am I dumb? I think I'm just dumb. No wait, there is a chat over there. What's this then? There's a chat over there, but what is this? Okay, I just realized there is a chat there, but it's like an additional chat. Uh, where is that? Double chat? You guys are over my art! Okay, wait, where is... No, boo -doo -boo -doo -doo. Boo -doo -boo -doo. Not that, not that. My god. This is not ghost. Kuma, thank you for the five! Samuel uh, has gifted five uh, subs to viewers. Man, why are y'all so nice? Oh, here it is. Okay, I found it. Uh, okay, now you guys are gone. Nice! It's a lot of subs, yeah! Okay, oh my god. Okay, let me back read now. <laughs> uh, why are you guys oh, here? Hell, yeah. Thank you. Oh, uh, hello, Riel! Oh, my god. Ah, uh, Kiara! Did my eyes deceive me? Shishia is back? Maybe I'm back. I feel enough- I feel better today than any other day, surprisingly enough. Uh. But so now I'm in a mood. Sheesh! Hey, Guma! It's been six months thanks for the comfy streams. Ah, oh, Class has been completed and now I- Oh, really? Nice! Congrats, Kuma, congrats! Hello, Ray! Toasty, hello, hello! It's the Kazuhashiyo model. Is there any other model that's not Kazuhashiyo? Okay. I'm at school right now, okay. I was teaching digital art and showed each class my fan art of you. Oh my god, really? Oh, thank you! I have not, I have not updated my fan art thing, cause like, I have to edit the video. But I have gotten a bit, so I think I might edit it after the stream. <laughs> I'm alert for now, gonna rest. Oh, you're sick! Hope you get better soon! <laughs> Hope you get better soon. Okay, how are you all? I like how I'm just not drawing. <laughs> how are you all? I had a... Shit, when was my last stream? <gasps> oh! We are cool! <laughs> Wait! Kuma, <laughs> thank you for the... Yo, you got a... <laughs> Trainee, let's go! Let's go! Thank you for the 10! <laughs> okay, I, I I won't be able to read it. I'll read it after. <laughs> My god! I know! Thank you for the warm welcome. <laughs> My god! <laughs> thank you, thank you very much! How are you all? Uh, I like how I said that I wasn't gonna have fun. Thank you! I'm, not gonna, I'm just gonna be chilling, really. So, what happened? Nothing really. I just was in a really bad mood for a very long time. And I didn't feel like doing anything. But now, I think I'm getting, I think I'm, you know, after a very long time. <laughs> it took me long enough, but I'm glad that people uh, um, still kind of 
wait me coming back. That's very nice of y'all. Huh? That's very nice. I'm glad you're back, bestie. Thank you, Kuma. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I don't even know where to begin. Because most of the time whenever I stream, I just talk about what's happening recently. But because there's such a time gap between my last stream and to now, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> I'm always the- I'm always like talking a bunch, but now I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> this is what happens. I haven't streamed for like, what, 20 days? And I forget how to. This is my exam for today and seeing- Ah, <laughs> Man. <laughs> Oh, what's your exam? Oh my god, what should I begin with? Uh, what is one thing that's new? All right! Okay, one new thing that's been happening recently is, uh, I've been doing biking, like, every week. Well, not, not that I, not that that was my own thing, that I was like, I'm gonna start biking so I can do exercise. No, my family got me into it. My dad was like, hey, you know, since, uh, like, you guys don't have grass at all, how about, like, every week we do biking? And it's been pretty pog. Gender society? What? Is that a subject? I've never heard of that. <laughs> I only know the basics. <laughs> the basic subjects. Oh, chibi! Okay, okay. I'll bring up the chibi. Uh, wait, let me get rid of my model first. Also, wait, why wasn't there the throw? I just realized that the throw wasn't there for some reason. Give me, I gotcha, bestie. <laughs> okay, whoa. Okay. So, that's what's been happening. And if you're wondering about my exercise progress, um, I can't really tell. <laughs> because, uh, I've only bi biked, I think, like, um, three, no, four times already, four times. And it happens every, like, Sunday, at least. Yeah, every Sunday. Me and my family go biking, like just at the roads, literally, just at the roads. And then we just go look for a restaurant during the weekend, and then we eat out. And three out of those four, I threw up. I threw up for all of them, and it's terrible. Wait, where's my model? Jesus. Okay, there you go. I threw up for all of them. Because I do not exercise at all. And, you know, just getting head first into extreme biking with like a lot of uphills uh you know it's a lot for getting back into exercising at all oh, oh hi Tiki. oh i see your stream oh i like how it's not drawing okay nice oh my oh my why am i so big okay wait i should really make a new chibi model too maybe when i have free time okay how are you Okay, my mom is gonna work. A lot of copying was done in the exam, and it wasn't just me. <laughs> Baby mode <Yeah>. activation. <laughs> yeah. I think I might make a new one where it's a more gremlin model, but, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> I've made, like, what, three models for myself? You can say I'm just loafing around. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, okay. Huh? Yeah. I think, you know, I've been having a lot of thinking. Also, if ever my, if ever my Clip Studio decides to give up on me, I might just do this chatting. Because recently my Clip Studio has been kind of mean and like literally keeps on, uh, like crashing. Holy shit, we made it to level. We, wait! We, we made it to level four high print? Holy shit! <laughs> Thank you! Uh -oh. I actually don't know how many subs we have at the moment. I'm sorry to do the subs that didn't get much out of it other than the emotes. I gotta go! No worries! Thank you for stopping by! I'm just gonna be chilling, really. Nice! Hell yeah! Poggers emotes! What is this? Oh, what the? Chat highlight... Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, a lot of stuff have happened. I think there's this whole thing about Twitch versus YouTube, which is eh. I've been thinking a lot about, you know, streaming in general, and I still enjoy it. I still do. Not that I hate it anymore, but you know, I think it's because, you know, 
Take breaks. Or else you will get burned out. Just for anything, really, not just streaming. So whenever I, you know, whenever, personally, whenever I have a feel for it, I'm just going to keep on doing it, and then I get tired right away. <laughs> Thinking it's dangerous? Yeah. Especially if your brain, if your mind is not very nice. A lot of drama this October. September, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's already October. Happy Spoopy. Actually, for the longest time, I thought November was the Spoopy month. Until I, f until I realized in the internet that it's October. And I was like, isn't post November always the Spoopy month? And, okay, wait. So, is, 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 is Halloween October 31st or November 1? Because I always thought it was November 1. That was Halloween to me. <laughs> but is it October 31st? I have not sh October 31st? Oh, really? Okay, okay. Okay, I see, I see. I never really did trick-or-treating. I did once. But it's like, you know, only really, I think if you live in a gated community, maybe people would have candy. Most of the time, not really, though. October 31st, yes, yes. Ah. You guys do trick-or-treating? I think the only few times I did is like, I remember one time, uh, I think in a lot of condominiums, they have events like that. <laughs> they have events for trick-or-treating. I remember going to one. Not because I lived in the condominium. My my uncle was like, hey, they have a Halloween event. Anyone can come, so why don't you come on in? And, of course, all the houses had candy, which is very nice. Very poggers, many candy. And the other one was like, eh, it was okay. <laughs> oh, hi, Nim! Sumi! Hello, Nim! How are you? Okay, so far my clip studio hasn't broken on me. Nice. Also, I really wanted to do Genshin, but recently it's been kind of hard to stream Genshin. Hopefully I can do some upgrades to my laptop-y. I haven't got trick-or-treating, but I remember Solar Break in high school. In high school? Oh. There's trick-or-treating in the Philippines? There kinda is. Yeah, there kinda is. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, like, trick-or-treating, maybe not so much, but, you know, like... Wait, is this a thing in other countries? The nodding? <laughs> like, caroling? Because in the Philippines, it's like every Christmas, kids will uh, go to houses and sing Christmas songs and, uh, you know, ask for money. <laughs> it's like, I sang, I came to your house and I sang you a song, I want money. <laughs> do, do other countries have that? I'm not sure. Or that's really just a Philippine thing. Ah, excuse me. Oh, wait, oops. I flipped my... Okay. There you go. Oh, it seems to kind of, the music's not that loud. Make it a bit loud. Okay, there you go. I didn't really do it either, caroling, because I can't sing for life. And I was too nervous to just, you know, go out to people's houses. Also, I, I was, we were totally the house that didn't give anything. <laughs> literally, if we can hear them from, from like, you know, far from the street, I will literally be like, uh, they're coming, they're coming. <laughs> and then we pretend we're just no one there. If I remember correctly, other countries do it, but the cash is for charity. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, well, Bobby, hello, hello. I live in the northern Luzon, and Halloween doesn't exist here. Oh, okay, I'm like, okay, I see, I see. I recall doing paddles with a pan filled with rocks inside the masquerade as an instrument. Yeah, also, uh, what other makeshift instruments? You know, the tin, the drum. To be fair, any flat surface thing can be a drum. But... And, yeah, they, they sing like the, uh, what songs would they sing? Oh, Hi, Sammy. How are you oh, doing? Ah, oh, have you been well? No, Sorry for no, not dropping no, by often, no, no, no. Literally, no, I was the no, one that stopped no, streaming for like 20 days. <laughs> Don't worry about my dropping by. I literally dropped off subscribe. the face of the earth, kinda. How are you doing, the adorable Shio? Hope you have been well oh, and holy sorry shit, for not about dropping eight by months. often. Oh my god! Oh my god. It's small, Shio? Yeah! It's a, I don't really bring this model out anymore. But uh, I have it on there in case people want to see it. So yeah. Central Luzon and a place is... Oh, okay, I see, I see. I hope it was a great break. It was pretty poggers. I think it was, uh, you know... Yeah, I didn't really do much, not gonna lie. But it was nice to keep my mind off other stuff, you know. 
I got you this jacket. It's so cute. What the fuck? Thanks. Maybe the next chibi model will be even not cuter. Because I plan on making it very gremlin. But some stuff have happened. Uh, what else have happened? Not gonna lie. <laughs> you would think that, you know, I would be like, Oh, I went to this place. I went to this place. I had a fun time. Literally, it's just me at home doing nothing. <laughs> That was a, that was my break. If you guys expect that I touch grass, I don't. I don't touch grass, so I don't have any pogger stories to share. Some boring like that. I'm I'm very very boring. Okay, there you go. Maybe in another life I can trick or treating. I mean, who's stopping you? You can trick or treat, but who's gonna give? Will they give you candy? I'm not sure. I think like trick or treating. Hmm. What did I go ask last year? I think last year. Oh my god, one year. In the condominium trick or treating, I just went in like really casual clothing. But then I was like wearing all black and a tutu, and I was like, I was like, I'm a rock star. That's my costume. People asked what I was. I was like, I was a rock star. I just tried to make sense out of my costume or my attire for Halloween. Okay, there you go. What did you guys, what did you guys like dress up as then? If you guys did trick or treating. You know what would be cool? I mean like, you know, trick or treating and cosplay. But kind of, but that means that, you know, I guess you have to be scary. Because you can't just, I mean, I guess you kinda, you can. You can like rock up someone's house in an asana cosplay. A lot of work though, and also you're walking around a bunch. A college student trick or treating. I mean, why not? Why not? You know, I won't judge. If if I was an old lady, you know, waiting for kids to stop by, and a college kid came to me, you know what? Actually, okay. If a college came came up to me in a really good costume with effort, I will give it. But if they're literally just like I don't know, um, like what, like a white, <laughs> a white cloth draped over with eye holes, and then like trick or treating, I'm like no. No, because, you know, they could just get their own candy. Okay, there you go. Though also, I wasn't really a big fan of candy in general. I only really like chocolates. Not really a big candy person, so. I just like, I took all of the chocolate and then all of the candy, like lollipops, I just gave it. I didn't really like them. Yes, I'm extremely unhealthy. Okay, there you go. Poggers, I got a gifted. Oh. I didn't check who got gifted, actually. Let me check. Uh, oh. Okay, I checked. Oh, yeah, you did get gifted. I like how some of these people that got gifted have reached all the way to three months. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> they've, got, they've, been, they've been gifted three months. <laughs> That they're like a three month subscriber by just gift subs. That's very funny to me. How are you seeing it? I've, I've been seeing that you've been trying to draw poggers. I always, I always like, uh, really like seeing. Oh, my brother's laughing beside me. Okay, he's annoying. Anyway, uh, I always like seeing people start drawing. I think I have a friend. I had a friend who like tried to draw. And they did pretty poggers. They made like animations, not even like drawing. They just did stick figure animations. It was really cool. Like just by like frame by frame animations, pretty poggers. But then I don't really hear them talking about it anymore. So they probably <laughs> stopped. <laughs> nice. I'm back to making YouTube videos. No streaming though. I'm still pretty bad at anatomy usually where the neck goes. Ah. Uh, I actually the one thing that does really help a lot is uh 3D figures. I think working with 3D figures can help a lot, though depending on your I think I think it was with Clip Studio Paint. Uh they do have inbuilt 3D models in here, but I'm not sure about other programs. I think if for other programs maybe you need an app that that like specifically makes 3D models, then you have to save it, I think. But that's really cool. Yeah. Sometimes whenever I have a hard time with a piece and I, you know, I want to capture a certain perspective, I use 3D models. Um, wait, let me actually show it. 
Though I'm kind of scared because my Clip Studio hasn't crashed yet, but that's a good thing. My Clip Studio has been having a problem where it crashes a bit. I'm using Krita. I've heard Krita's pretty good. I have never really tried it though. Um. Where the fuck is it? Okay, wait. Uh. Okay, wait. Can you arrange properly? Okay, thanks. Uh. This one. Is that it? Okay, there you go. I do want to try other art programs though. Oh, okay, there you go. So this, this was the uh, very scuffed 3D model that I used. This one, get rid of all of that. That's the, that's the very scuffed base 3D model. As you can see, the wrist is very bad, but it's fine. <laughs> if I can get the good, the, if I can get the model at least there, I'll just handle the rest. But yeah, 3D models do help quite a bit. I'm not really sure how to uh, use 3D models if your program doesn't have it. Yeah, well, fuck is sick. Yeah, it's actually really nice. It makes stuff a bit, it makes stuff like quite easier. Okay, now, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's really poggers. Excuse me. I use a 3D model side for a 3D model, but it looks wonky. Yeah, it, it kind of takes a bit to like, you know, because you're like moving muscles and you want it to look natural and stuff like that. Me, I kind of just get it to a point where it looks okay. And then I'll figure it out myself. myself. Just get a base and I'll figure the rest of it myself. I never really draw over the 3D model because sometimes it's not really, you know, flattering with the, with the parts that I did. So yeah. I used to app for 3D models and just put the image. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Clip Studio is pretty pog for that, like having their own 3D models. And having their own base that you can move on your own. I should be definitely more patient with myself though, because I just started and I'm expecting myself to be a god already. Yeah, I feel like people that start off, like, I definitely feel that a lot as well when I start a new thing. Like, oh, I'm not good off the bat, meaning that maybe I should just stop. Because me with art, I started since I was quite young. So I had a, you know, and also I just enjoyed doing it really. So I've had years of experience. I also, everyone's pace at, what do you call that? Learning is very different. So it's kind of, <laughs> So recently I got back into TikTok, just scrolling through it. I enjoy it, but I, but I think, at some point, like, why I stopped missing it was because, man, pretty art. And I was like, fuck, fuck me. <laughs> like, man, there are just some young artists out there that are, fuck. <laughs> they're doing, they're doing a lot. They're doing really good. That's true, people learn differently. Yeah, people learn differently and some can literally, like, you know, some can, uh, one person can learn, can only been into art for a year and have improved so much while you have been it for five years and maybe not as much. How about my progress so far? That's really good. That's really good. I think having artists that you like is also a good thing. Not that I'm saying to copy them, but take elements that you like from them and see how you can make it work for you. I think that's definitely how I got my style. Though, t to be fair, I've never really seen other person, pe other people with my style. Either that's a good thing or not. <laughs> I haven't really seen many people that have my kind of art style, which I guess is a kind of a good thing. I'll be back, I'll go on a walk real quick. No, <laughs> have a nice walk. Touch grass, touch grass. YouTube Shorts becomes my TikTok. To be fair, yeah, I actually quite enjoy scrolling through YouTube shorts more than TikTok, <coughs> weirdly enough. Ah, uh, playing with a cat! Yeah, weirdly enough, I look through my YouTube shorts more than I do my TikTok. Like, funny, and funny enough, like, I don't know a lot about K-pop, but I get a lot of, I get a lot of K-pop YouTube shorts. I don't follow along with K-pop as much anymore. 
I think I only did back then because my, you know, everyone was into it, and I, I was in school, an environment where K-pop is, like, inevitable, so I ended up, like, you know, kind of following along with the new stuff, but now not really. But I do know a lot about the, 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 the K-pop people now, even though I don't necessarily follow along with their group or their music. Like, I know, I know some news, and it's like, I don't even, like, you know, listen to a lot of their music and stuff like that. Okay, there you go. But I do like TikTok because uh, I get a lot of, like, nice-looking stuff. Because pretty art, it's always nice to look at as well. As much as I, you know, it pains me. But it's really nice to look at pretty art via TikTok. I guess it's just how my feed is on TikTok. My for you page, that's the uh, yes, I for me page. Okay, there you go. Some other stuff happened. Oh yeah, there's like this whole thing about like YouTube versus Twitch. I don't think I see myself moving to YouTube anytime soon. Cause you know, as much as the Rev, I do quite like Twitch for a lot of stuff. Like for example, I really like the uh, <laughs> I I like Twitch for the uh redeems. I really like I really like that about Twitch. Also, the subscription's really nice as well. I do have memberships on YouTube, but the, the uh, what do you call that? The emotes you, you, you get there from the memberships, you can only really use on their chat. You can't necessarily use it on other people's chat, which makes sense, but you know. And Twitch, you can use it in other people's channels, which is nice. Very nice. Okay, there you go. But I don't see myself going on YouTube. Though actually, I did try editing. I tried editing a clip recently. And I ended up giving up. Editing is way too hard. Jesus. There's just so much stuff that like, go into editing. Oh, sorry, goes into editing. Oh my god. Grammar who? Okay, there you go. Also recently, oh right, I guess I never talk about this, huh? I'm kind of making a cover. It's really scuffed cover, and it's kind of just like a like a practice cover, but it's happening at some point. But I'm not lazy and actually get my recordings to my friend who will be mixing it. I always enjoy singing, and not that I'm good at it, but I like doing it. You know, let me dream. <laughs> Let me dream that I'm a good singer, please. Cause it's really fun. I wait, my brother can my brother went upstairs and he fucking closed the fan. Okay, wow, thanks, brother. Hey wait. Okay, nice. I opened the fan. He freaking closed the fan on me. It's so hot. Even though I just showered, it's really hot though. Okay, there you go. But yeah, I hopefully I can do more covers in the future after I um, release the first one. It's very scoff. Don't expect it to be good. But yeah. It's a very scuffed cover. Tiny Baby Steps in the cover, Shia. Yeah. It's only half a song, but it definitely it's like, you know, since I'm not that good of a singer, <laughs> I don't want to expect too much. Because like, you know, in my head... What I, the thing is, what I want to do with a cover is maybe not sing it myself, but I want to do art for it. You know those really cool uh, Japanese music videos? Like, you know, the ones for Japanese artists. Those are so, so cool. Like the editing and all that. And it's just like, ah, I want to, I want to, you know, one day I'll get good enough where my art can be used as for an MV, you know? Oh wait, I guess maybe I'll maybe I'll show what song it is. Should I? I mean, actually, to, to be fair, I already showed it on Twitter, so why not? I already showed it on Twitter, so why not? Uh, okay, where is it? Do I show the entire art? 
You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Yes. Those that are here today, you guys are getting the look of the entire arc. Where is it? Okay, here it is. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. If you know this song, then you know this song. Not gonna lie. I kind of wish I picked a different song from my beginning song. I only chose this song because I drew the art and I was like, you know what, since I already drew this thing, I'll just cover it. And this song is kind of hard to cover with my vocal range, but whatever. It's fine. I can excuse it as it's my first cover and I'm not bad at singing, I swear. I'm decent. But hopefully in the future I can do more covers. I have a friend that's really nice and offered to like, um, edit in exchange of art, which of course, understandable. And it's very nice of them. <laughs> very, very nice of them. So, yeah. I didn't, that image looks familiar. I don't remember the song. Okay. Um, it's called uh, Goodbye Sengen. It's super high in some areas, and I don't know why I picked this song for a first cover, but whatever. But yeah, it's a Vocaloid song. Not really one for Vocaloid songs, but I do. And this song's pretty catchy. Though, I think maybe my ne the next song that I plan on covering at some point. <laughs> at some point will be a more lower song, because my voice is kind of low in general. So yeah, I look forward to that. I always want to try doing projects, but then I, of course, you know, too many at once is not good. You have to rest. Okay. There you go. Oh, crunch! Hello! Wait, why is the throw not working? Okay, wait, I'm so sorry. I'll give you back your, uh, I'll give you back your uh, channel points later. I'll give it all to those that um use the redeem. Okay, wait, I'll have to yeah, I haven't streamed for a while, so I don't know why they're just not working. Eh. That's very annoying. How are you, Crunch? How are you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't really like the voices of vocal the songs are good. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I'm kinda iffy about Vocaloid. I really like natural voices in general. Because it has some, I mean, Vocaloids, of course, are just very robotic-y, and I'm not really one for that. But some songs do work well with Vocaloid. Nintendo will be copywriting people for streaming Pokemon. Wait, really? Hasn't that been a thing for a long time now? So, like, they, they're suddenly doing that? But then, like, a lot of people stream the Arceus game. I don't know that my well, that's what my friend told me. Mm, I see, I see. That's really unfortunate though. I don't get why that shouldn't be a bad thing because like literally streamers is like it's promotion basically. You're promoting the game to an audience. I don't get why it should be a bad thing. Or why that's copyright. That's weird indeed. So I want to stream a Pokemon Nuzlocke. Oh, really? That's so weird. Why? I swear, like, you know, I have um, watched people do a Pokemon, uh, we call it Pokemon Nuzlocke, and also, um, Arceus, the new game when that came out. A lot of people were streaming that. Arceus. Hmm, I wonder why. Why just Pokemon? I mean, I'm assuming Nintendo, of course, has other games. But I, I'm pretty sure they can't necessarily end on all games. Why Pokemon? Bread? <laughs> okay, there you go. I also wanted to, uh, also music. Oh, is it low? Is the music low? Or is there double music? Oh, no, it's not, okay. Is the music quite low? Okay, there you go. I also kind of want to do a Pokemon game. I wish I could do the, uh, you know, the, the original ones. Oh, the music! Oh, that makes sense though. It's in the game. Man, I see, I see. Okay, there you go. The soundtrack literally makes the game. Just wanted to play it muted or what? 
confusing. I'll look into that though. I've always wanted to play like the uh, what's the first one? Emerald. I've always wanted to try playing that, but I don't have a console of it. And also, I'm pretty sure what do you call those? Um, <laughs> emulators. I'm pretty sure they're not really allowed. <laughs> Especially if I'm gonna stream it. I'm pretty sure those aren't allowed. I don't have an original though. Oh. Yeah. How are you? Since now that I'm back, I think I might actually start on trying new games. My game at the moment, like my default game, I can't necessarily stream it anymore, which is like ter like which is terrible. I can't stream Genshin anymore. My God! Thank you for the reason. So hopefully I can start with new games. I'll probably go back to the, some old games like Undertale. I'll do like the normal run for that. Uh, maybe some horror games, Terraria, those were all the plans. So yeah, hopefully now that I'm back, I can try all these games actually. Since I literally can't play Genshin, kinda. <laughs> I can't stream Genshin, which is terrible. Hopefully until I can upgrade my laptop. Hopefully, hopefully. How are you, Pato? How are you? Okay, Stardew Valley? Yeah, I'll get back in Stardew Valley. Hopefully I can get back into that. Cause I haven't, literally, I haven't married the Sebastian yet. <laughs> He's still sitting there. Sebastian. Been grinding Terraria's new updates, really? Ooh. Okay, okay, yeah. Hopefully I can do more games, more stuff. More on cam streams. I haven't done an on cam stream in a while. More a baking stream. So hopefully I can get those. Before the end of the year. I don't think I'll stream as much as I used to. You know, take more breaks. I'll only stream when I want to. Because I do I do work quite a bit in the backgrounds to make streams poggers. But I think I'm worrying about that too much, you know? So yeah, rest is necessary. I'm a playboy in Star Dude. No! Breaking hearts. <laughs> Breaking hearts, my gosh. I mean, you like, you know, you end relationships and then you start new ones, right? You're not, you know, you're not starting relationships and starting relationships at the same time, you know? Hopefully. <laughs> Who are your romance to start you? I'm, I'm loyal. I'm loyal. What can I say? I'm loyal. I'm loyal. As you should be. You should be loyal. Even though it's a... Not, even though it's a gay relationship, you should be loyal. Okay, there you go. Actually, there's this one game I really wanted to try. But sadly, it's a Japanese game, and they don't have a translation for it on the Switch for English, which is very bad. It's very sad. It's not really popular in the West, so it never got translation. It's like a dating sim. I wanted to try it either on my own time or on stream. But sadly, they don't have translations, which is really sad. The NPC I hated the most is Haley. Haley is a blonde girl, right? I kind of wish, like, I kind of wish that maybe, you know, Haley and Alex were, you know, maybe C, necessary, typical jock and a uh, blonde girl. But, you know, they have their moments. But literally, I feel like every time I meet them, I, I just hate them even more. I feel like every time I meet them, I just hate them. I don't I don't get why people would want to romance them, you know? I feel like every other character is better than Alex and Haley. Like those two were actually made for each other. Okay, there you go. But yeah, I honestly I Romance Sebastian. If it wasn't Sebastian, I probably would have romanced, uh, who was that? I probably would have romanced, uh, what the fuck's his name? Who's the fish guy? <laughs> uh, Elliot. There you go. The, the fish guy, Elliot. That's his name. Yeah, I would have romanced Elliot. He looks pretty nice. There you go. Oh, Hamby! Hi! How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Alex is the em embodiment of toxic masculinity. <laughs> yeah. At, at the beginning, I kind of was like, oh my god, he's kind of cute. Until he was like, oh, 
You wanna play catch? Sorry. I was like, oh, are you saying girls can't play catch? Fucking bitch. So I stopped. Are you lurking? No worries. Thank you for the lurk. Okay, there you go. But yeah, hopefully I can play more Switch games as well. I have seen a lot about Splatoon. I have Splatoon 2, but I don't have the first Splatoon, which I'm not really sure if I can try out the first Splatoon without having tried the first one, but I'll look into it. Because I've heard a lot of news like about Splatoon 3 when that came out. It was really, really big. I was like, ooh, what's this about Splatoon 3? What's this? What's this? But I haven't tried Splatoon yet, so maybe I'll look into it more, and maybe I'll try it on stream. Okay, nice! Okay, Slime Rancher 2 is good, but I haven't played that game. Oh, there are a lot of games that are probably really good that I just haven't tried. Because I was never really a gamer. I didn't have a vast knowledge of games before I streamed. I think it was only really until I started streaming that I had a more knowledge about games since, you know, that's kind of what I do. <laughs> you play more games. But it's very, it's very interesting. Definitely try more games. I think I might play a RPG horror game. Yeah, I might try an RPG horror game um, for October. Then maybe one of the, you know, that, those chain of horror games made by this Japanese guy. Hi, love! Hi, how are you? There's these chain of games by these, I think they're brothers, these Japanese brothers. What's their games? They have the convenience store, they have um, the the night shift. I, I don't know who made them, but I think I might want to try one of their games out. Hopefully it won't be too heavy. I don't think it will be. The graphics is, you know, it's, it's average, but they it, it look scary. So maybe I'll try them out. This is literally me being like, it's October guys. Spoopy, spoopy, horror, spoopy, spoopy, horror. Yes, I'm trying to get on the, I'm trying to get on the horror, you know. Okay, how are you, love? How are you? One thing also that has, you know, added from my break is I have been watching a lot more Niji Sanji streams. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, it's not even of like, like during my break, Anna, Anna has become my Kami Oshi. <laughs> I literally kinda don't watch any other person except for Anna, like full streams. There are many times during my break where I watched like the entire streams of Anna. And I was like, oh shit, maybe Anna is my Kamiyoshi. <laughs> Welcome back, thank you, Loli. Damn, y'all are so nice. <laughs> I didn't think it would be so, you know, active, me coming back. I was kind of just ready to just, you know, chill and lay back. And just, you know, work on something. But y'all are so nice, thanks. Oh, also, I got rid of the uh, Filipino tag on my stream for numerous reasons because I feel like people that come in here whenever they see my Filipino tag they expect that I am speaking in Filipino and that I understand the Filipino Filipino memes and stuff like that but the sad thing is that I'm Filipino yet I don't <laughs> so I ultimately decided that you know what maybe I should just get rid of the Filipino tag also because one time, one time during stream, I remember this. Like, uh, this one person came into my stream. Uh, hi, ladies! See? Oh, hi, ladies, babe, how are you? Understandable. One time, yeah, one time during stream, like, someone was like, uh, they were speaking in Tagalog, but it was like, oh, are you really Filipino? Because there is, there is this whole thing, to be fair, about, like, Filipino baiting. But I am actually Filipino. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't sound, nor does my Filipino-ness ever slip up. So they were like, oh, are you really Filipino? It's like, yeah. So you know what? I just decided to get rid of it. If, I, if you find out I'm Filipino, then nice. But, you know, maybe I just won't have it up. 
I think people that do follow as well expect that I do speak in Filipino sometimes when I don't. I literally have my stream language set to English, so I don't know why they think I'm going to speak in Tagalog. Because there isn't, like, there is a stream language set to Tagalog, so I don't know why they expect to be speaking Tagalog. So I just, I just got rid of it. Yeah, yeah. Since there are, to be fair, many people have found out about me because I'm Filipino, but, you know, eh. Maybe I will not have it on there. Like, you don't have to, you don't, you know, don't follow me just because I'm Filipino. Oh my god, she almost forgot what Shu's voice sounds like. <laughs> oh, 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 hi, oh my god. Pino gone? No longer Pino. How are you, Ark? How are you? Thank you for all the resubs. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. Thank you for all the resubs today. Yeah, I, I was expecting that today I wouldn't get, you know, just like, Shio who? Who's Shio? <laughs> but I'm glad that some people uh, decided to stop by again after I've been gone for quite a bit. Oh, shit! <laughs> Summer, Thank you for the five gifted the dark. Years. Thank you. Uh, well, let me let me check who got. Oh, did I? Oh, I got rid of my. Where's my stream alerts? I think I got rid of it by accident. Okay, wait. How are you? Are thank you for the gifted. Oh wait, there you go, Chico. Uh, Lolly. Oh, love that. Let's go. Also, mug. Hell yeah. Okay, Risa, But thanks. Oh, you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, there's my. It's gonna. It's gonna update now. Okay, nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hopefully, I can uh, get get back into it. But yeah, also mo the whole time during my break, it was mostly just commissions and doing whatever. Really? I wasn't really like, you know, I'm not really a busy person. I don't have a school either, so I don't have school to worry about until school comes. <laughs> Things will definitely be a lot more busier when school probably rolls around for me. But hopefully I can still keep a balance where I'm not failing in life, but I'm still streaming sometimes. Maybe you'll get steady streams, I don't know. Future steady streams? That sounds pog. Okay, there you go. But yeah, hopefully I can do a lot more stuff now that I'm back. Also, like, I've been trying to learn new things in terms of streaming, like editing clips. I should really, I should really learn how to do many things. But most of the time, I'm too lazy. Laziness really is the enemy to productiveness, and it sucks. Do study streams. We study together, be ah. Yeah, I'd love to do that, honestly. I feel like whenever I study, vocalizing my thoughts makes it a lot more easier for me. Like, literally, whenever I study, I say stuff out loud. That's why I stream. <laughs> That's why I started streaming, because I, whenever I did stuff, I'd say stuff out loud. Like a dumbass and a, and a crazy person. But, you know, now I can do that with study stream. And also, such p smart people actually in chat can help me. <laughs> I'll be doing my homework and I'll be like, chat, help me. Uh, uh, tutors of Twitch, where are you? <laughs> Any teachers in chat? Let's get all, all the help I need. How about you, Lace? How's your studying? Study stream sounds more like being distracted. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's also, I remember um, my one friend, streamer friend, they, like, they were gonna do a study stream, I think like 50 minutes in, they gave up and they were like, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> they were like, I'm sorry, I literally can't pay attention, so they ended the stream. <gasps> Which to be fair, understandable. I don't get how some people... I know a streamer that does actually mostly only do study streams. Like for so long, and it's most of the time, I don't really um, check that often, but whenever I do check, it's like just them... I think they're like muted actually. They're like talking through chat sometimes. And they're just like there studying. And it's like really interesting. I'm like, ah, what's so interesting about this? Maybe if you have Poggers music in the background, 
maybe they'll stay because you know they're just vibing but it's like oh well, let's see let's see i appeal to this i was supposed to do a song analysis but the link teacher gave doesn't work oh really can't you just ask your teacher what the title of the song is then i'm actually gonna do that a song analysis i see i see that's really interesting then there you go. Oh, also, I bought a, during my break, I bought a bunch of clothes. I asked my dad if I could spend money on his shopping because there was like a big sale. And, not, and he was like, okay, sure. Just don't waste it. And I bought a bunch of clothes, right? And some of the clothes have already came from uh, the 30th. And oh my god, some of them actually like don't fit. Not because they're tight, they're loose. So I most of the stuff I got were either um, jackets, I got them in, um, large, kinda. I got them in large, because, you know, I like oversized shit. But my, my normal stuff, I got them in medium. I was like, okay, I think medium makes sense for me, you know, because I don't really have a, I, they have size charts, but I don't know how to measure my, you know, you know the three, three, three measurements for girls that you need? I don't know how to do that, so I kind of just winged it, and I was like, you know what, medium seems like, you know, I don't see myself as a small, I'm gonna get medium. And then um, a dress came by, and it was like, what? Why is it kind of loose? It's like, did I, did, am I not a medium? Am I a small? Because I am aware that I did lose a bunch of weight. I'm, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm kind of underweight, actually. <laughs> I'm kind of underweight, so I think I probably lost a bunch of weight during quarantine. But I was like, what? What? And then I got a thing today. It looks nice. It would look nice if it wasn't so large. It looks nice, kind of a bit oversized, but it's too oversized. Go to a tailor and get it, get them fitted. Yeah, I think it's just the best way. Also, I kind of just went for a size bigger because I was like, oh, because you know, if it's too tight, it's like, what are you going to do? You're going to have to give it away. But if they're too big, at least you can do something about them. Like get it fitted, you know, because like if it's too small, what are you going to do? <laughs> are you just going to... You're gonna lose weight? I don't wanna do that. But if it's too big, at least I can, you know, alter it to make them fit. And I don't think I'm ever gonna like actually like, you know, grow into them. You know, that where it's like, oh, it's too it's too big, I'll grow into it. <laughs> I don't think I will unless I eat a bunch. Going going a size bigger is the rule when buying online. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think my uh, I think the other ones are just like vests and sweaters so yeah it doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily matter if they're oversized it's a good thing if they're oversized we can be dumb together in a study stream <laughs> it's just like i just be like chat please chat are you are any of you guys smart and it's like uh i don't know she uh <laughs> I don't, how, how dare none of y'all be smart and help me with my study stream i just have like <laughs> what's the affair the what do you call that the ch er, streamer reflects the chat no i'm kidding <laughs> we'll be dumb together okay there you go. but yeah also i've never really gone clothes shopping in my life so the first time i went clothes shopping was literally then online so you know not very good experience but whatever they're, they're cute they're cute they're cute if they fit me so either I learn how to sew or I pay someone to make it fitted. B, I'll help you the best I can. I'm smart sometimes. <laughs> Don't think you're fair. You're studying very much, you know. You're studying very hard, which is very admirable. It's very, very admirable that you study very hard. Because, you know, you're very responsible, very responsible. Okay, there you go. Nice! Okay, so far my Clip Studio has not crashed on, which is very nice. Thank you, Clip Studio. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Responsible, babes, I don't have to commute for real. Well, to be fair, okay. The first time, I commuted a lot to school with my family, and the first time I commuted, it was lucky scary. But the good thing was that I knew the routes. I was like, oh, I know where the routes will go. But if, if someone, if my dad was actually like, hey, I need you to go here, like come to this place. And it's like, how do I go there? What Jeep do I take? What's the name of the routes? Where do I stop? And stuff like that. I don't have to do that. 
but the route that I I I did commute a bit during uh at my old place. Because there's quite a bunch of jeeps and stuff like that. Now, I don't really commute because I have no reason to. Maybe if I go to school. Maybe I'll commute when I go to school. Because, you know, I, I can't necessarily uh get picked up now. I'm like, what? 16 and I'm still getting picked up? Well, to be fair, it's pretty safe. It's good that you're getting picked up still. Because it's like, it's safer, you know? I'd rather walk to a wood place commuting. You know one thing that's scary? So like, whenever I commuted with my family, or my mom, back from school, I'd always fall asleep at the jeep. That was like, fuck, if I commute, like actually, I cannot fall asleep. Like that is bad, you should not fall asleep if you're commuting. That's like, number one, scary, bad, don't do that. So the few times I have, I didn't sleep, but still. Don't, don't fall asleep when you're commuting, it's bad. Especially if you're like, alone. If you want someone, then maybe it's not too bad, but, you know, if you're alone, don't. Do not sleep when you commute. Wait, so, like, you don't know how to get on the jeep and stuff like that? Near your area? At least, like, going to your school? Wait, how do you go to school, then? Do you, like, get picked up? Do your parents take you to school? Okay, there you go. Yeah, I don't have to take the jeep or tricycle. I think tricycle shouldn't be that hard. Just tell them where you want to go and they'll take you there. So it's a, does it go to the Jeep? It has like a route. But with a tricycle, at least you just tell them where you're gonna go, you know? Back when I was a kid, I always sleep in the bus. Like in the school bus or like the bus on the way home. That's kind of scary. Because like, you know, you don't know where you'll be when you wake up. Which is very, very scary. Not, not poggers. Oh, you remember that? Okay, yeah, that makes more sense, yeah. I slept in jeeps, but I was with my family. I was with my mom and my brother. Good time? Ah, My family got a car, they drive me around if necessary. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, that makes, that makes sense. I don't think, I, th I think I've only been on the jeep once, though like, alone, it's because I went on a, on a gala with some friends to the mall, and my dad um, wasn't wasn't gonna be able to, like, bring me there. He ever was. So, oh, my friend brought me there, my friend brought me there, but my, I went home by myself. She's lucky scary, but it's fine. I knew, I knew what I had to do since I did it a bunch already with my family. Oh, so your family got a car. I see, I see. Okay, there you go. Yeah, most of the time my dad also just brings me as well. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've... Yeah, I've never, like, you know, like, snuck out of home. I've never been like, oh, I'm gonna go somewhere. And I'm like, okay, have fun. And I, and I you know, I lie. I don't think I've ever done that. Because to be fair, I have no friends and no one invites me to stuff. So, where will I go? <laughs> no one invites me to stuff. Like, I was supposed to go somewhere with my classmates to practice, and since I don't have to commute, I was just like, man, sorry, guys, I can't go. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe if you have, like, a friend that can, like, maybe pick you up, and you guys can commute together, that would be nice. I can't do that, because I have no friends. But that sounds cute, commuting together. Cute. You can do that, like, <laughs> hey, can you guys pick me up? That would be cute. Okay, there you go. Also, I didn't really have to commute that much during 8th grade because I lived literally, like, uh, the village next to my school. So whenever I went to school, I just had to walk, and going home, I just had to walk. And also whenever, like, people plan stuff, at, uh, like, after school activities maybe, like, practicing for, like, sports festival, it's normally at that village, so it's easy for me to just go. Like, just go out of my house and walk to the place. Okay, there you go. Also, it was nice because they had, like, you know, a lot of kids would chill there after school. So I would chill there a lot after school with some friends. 
They have like a playground and stuff. Really nice. But also, it's like one thing I kind of don't want is like one thing I kind of don't want is like friends passing by. I don't want some friends to pass by and like see me at my house. <laughs> you know, just chilling. Literally, I don't. I I don't ever want that. And I don't think it happens that often. Not many people take my street to, you know, to walk by, but some do. It's very scary. <laughs> I'm like, don't see me. You don't know me. <laughs> is it really that confusing to put me in Manila? Um, well, Lace is not from Manila, though. They're, like, in the province as well. Batangas, I believe. Or am I dumb? Thanks, Batangas. If I remember correctly. Fake friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It's fine, I know your birthday, Lace. I know your birthday. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, I'm from the province, yes. I'm not a fake friend. Even if I don't know where they live, I know their birthday. Okay, there you go. But yeah, also, it's like, you know... I'm, I'm kind of scared to commute. Because I don't like people. I'm a fake friend, she a real friend, Oh, Hell yes, thank you. I am such a good friend, I know, right? I know everyone's birthdays, I'm kidding. I know the month at least. I can. I think I, I, I vaguely know around what time of the month is their birthday. And yeah. Like, you, you're a February baby, yes. And because you just told me like yesterday, it's on the 12th. See? My memory is so poggers. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> the memory is so real. It's because friends are friends. Okay, there you go. My school, like, you know, whenever it was someone's birthday at my school, they'd like announce it. I don't know if their schools do that for mine. I'm not sure if other lots of schools do that, but my school did that. Like whenever it was someone's birthday for that day, they like recite it, like "Happy birthday to um blah 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 of grade one, blah 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 of grade eleven, blah 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 of grade six. and then you know, when you find out it's someone's birthday, it's like they're really like "Happy birthday to you." They announce it, yeah, they announce it. I don't really mind it because you know. <laughs> <laughs> At least it feels like someone's, you know, someone, and it's about your birthday. <laughs> At least someone's like, yep. Um, well, happy birthday to you, I guess. Happy birthday. Though it is cute if the like, you know, if your friends actually remember what your what your birthday is. They announced the fuck. That's embarrassing. Wait, why? Is it? I mean, to be fair, I guess, yeah. Cause it's like, you know, you go back, you, it's like, you know, everyone in the classroom's like, okay, I guess we have to like, you know, I guess we have to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, and then that's it. Yeah, their friends will celebrate with them and that's it, really. <laughs> yeah, they do announce it. I remember one time, so like at our school, we have like, it's like a Catholic school. So like every, uh, Every opening ceremony of our school was led by the students. And I believe how it worked was it started off with the older ones and then just go all the way to like grade three or however level, you know, they're able to follow instructions. <laughs> so like, uh, so I remember one time it was like around my grade level. I think I was in sixth grade, sixth grade. Yeah, in sixth, no, wait, it was in fifth grade. Sorry, fifth grade, yeah. In fifth grade, um, in fifth grade, it was rosary, and so um, every it go through every class. I think one week. Yes. Yeah, so how it works is, for example, in the beginning of the school year, they have the grade twelve kids, and one week of announcements and prayers will be led by one class, and they pick every person from a class to lead 
days of the week until the next week it's same grade level but different class until you just go all the way to grade one so um during the time it was my class and i was assigned to um read the rosary uh, hi Kong. hello hello how are you i was assigned to uh, read the rosary and that day i was actually sick and i was about to like you know not go in there but actually i was like oh, i want to I- I want to leave the rosary because I don't know it's my first time and I got there I got there kind of late and I was like okay I got there nice and oh my god I think it was so bad so um, I think my voice was super raspy because I was sick and then I kept on coughing we had a mic I couldn't close the mic whenever I coughed you know so I think like it was heard at the mic like coughing it was so awkward and when i came back to my classroom i think everyone was like whoa whoa i think they were clapping at me because you know i think i knew that was me they were laughing they were probably laughing the entire time at the classroom which is not nice oh uh, uh, hi i miss you oh thanks how how are you i'm doing pretty good oh I right, don't make it weird. <laughs> How are you? How are you? But yeah, that's that's me. How are you, Kai? Oh, let me explain. Oh, that song. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. I would transfer to another school if I were if I were that kid. Really? Well, to be fair, it's only like you know you don't get your birthday once a year, so. Actually, I said, I actually kind of liked whenever they said my name. They're like, oh, it's my birthday. And it's like, you know, sometimes the kids during the weekends didn't have their birthday announced. And of course, you know, if it's summer, they're totally not having their birthdays announced. For me, it was kind of eh eh, because my birthday's in July. So it's like either, it's either they start the school year at July, past my birthday, or before my birthday. So it's like kind of eh eh. So it's 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 kind of mad whether they decide to like you know. It depends on when they start the school year. The only thing fun is the school learning the principles of animation, and experiencing them. Wait, animation? What do you mean? School making me dead? Oh, oh, I see. You're learning animation at your school. Wait, what grade are you? Loki want to learn animation, but the thing is, I just. I just don't like the idea of drawing every frame. That the idea of that pains me. Like no, I don't like the idea of having to draw frames you no know, all the time. Animation, that's so cool. I do also want to learn myself, but yeah. Arts and design. I am taking arts and design track for um senior high. Whenever I get to school. Okay, wait, do I wanna keep this long sleeve or do I wanna make it short? You know what? I'll make it short. Take it away. Let's fix this hand so I can make it like, you know. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna keep it long. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Oh, a rolled up sleeve. Yeah, there's a rolled up sleeve over here. It's like, it's, you know, your thing's there. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm too lazy. I'm just gonna let it down. I don't want to draw another thing. But yeah, animation is so cool. I There's this one artist on Twitter. They make really good animations of like... um, I think they mostly do Zelda stuff. Really cute. And I wish I could be as patient as them. When it comes to drawing. Because <laughs> not a lie, drawing the same thing for an extended amount of time would pain me. I lose my mind, actually. But maybe at some point I'll learn. When I was in grade then I had an electrical track. You had that? I think in ninth grade and tenth grade we had like two tracks. It was um cookery and um uh it was kinda like kinda architecture stuff. Yeah. I forgot what it was called, fuck. <laughs> drafting, there you go, drafting, kinda like architecture. And I took that for both years and I hated it. I hate architecture. I could never do that, my god. 
animation is so slow. I wish I could do that. Too bad I'm learning about politics. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you're getting that bag, so <laughs> it's fine. You're getting that bag. You're getting that bag. Slay. <laughs> There you go. But yeah, I wish. Oh wait, hmm. this is a weird angle. That's a, that's that's not a right angle. Okay, wait. Yeah, I just realized it's not a bad. It's not a good angle. Oh, the majors. My school doesn't have that. Ah, oh, I see. I see. I miss a lot in a good way. <laughs> Understandable. The thing is, I I know that I knew that if I took cookery, it would have made stuff super easier on me because you know cookery is it's cooking whatever. It's on as hard as, you know, the other stuff. But, oh my god. The reason why I didn't pick it was because, um, was because I was like, oh, I know how to cook already. It's like, it, to me, I was like, I was actually thinking about the learning aspect. I was like, oh, if I already know how to, you know, if I already know how to cook, then I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just, uh, do drafting. I did it for one year and I hated it and I don't know why I decided to stick with it the next year because I actually failed so hard. I failed so hard and it, it literally left a dent on my grades forever in a, in a very bad way. So yeah, don't take drafting. It's terrible. Just do cookery. It's uh, funny on me that I choose animation, but what I really want is to draw sussy art. Oh my god, and sell them to good commissions plus rigging, which is somehow different from animations. Rigging is like live 2D rigging. R like, after learning live 2D rigging, it's definitely a lot different. It's very different from frame by frame animation. Very different. Um, I think I might try to learn that, like, you know, um, because that would be really cool if I could offer that as commission. Like, I'll draw and I'll make it move with rigging. Like maybe like a looped animation, that would be nice. But I haven't learned anything past live t like VTuber model rigging. I haven't learned like like a illustration rigging. The only thing I hated in electrical was the math. Honestly, I was so convinced when I was younger that, oh my god, when I'm in college, I can learn anything. I can just choose not to do math. And then the older you get like, ah, fuck, math is inevitable. <laughs> You're never gonna get rid of math. Oh, hi, KG! I got gifted a sub. Yeah! Yeah, I believe that was... Let me check it out, actually. Who gifted you a sub? Oh, fuck, wait. Uh, oh, it was uh, Kuma. Yeah! How are you, KG? Okay, there you go. I started streaming now. Ooh, nice! Good luck, good luck! On 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 uh, on on Twitch. Hope you didn't follow me. Mm. Check you out. Yeah. What senior high still, still uses intermediate paper? I think I'm dying because of it. Wait. What? Don't all schools still need it? Like index cards, intermediate paper. That's also, what my dad told me before math is inescapable. Yeah. Yeah, my dad told me that. Because my dad is really smart. My dad is really fucking smart. I don't know how he got children like me and my brother. But it's fine. I don't know. I don't know what he thinks about it. But yeah, my dad is really smart. But yellow paper is so much better. Ooh, actually, yeah. Yellow paper is really cute. Yeah, yellow paper is cute. Though, hmm. To be fair, like, what's more expensive, yellow paper or... Yellow paper or, um, what do you call that? Or intermediate. Probably intermediate cheaper, right? I will ask for commission free sometime. Really? Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, during my time, I made a new son. Um, if you follow my Twitter, you've probably seen him already. Go follow all my children. I'll probably, yeah. Ho hopefully I can have a link to all my children on my card at some point. But uh, wait, let me show off my ch my child. My new child. I think yellow paper is more expensive, but so worth it. To be fair, there are good intermediate papers that are really smooth. And yeah. Okay, wait, where's my son? 
Um, I'm, I can't necessarily like try out their model here to show off the rigging because I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I didn't ask permission to do that. So I can just show a picture of them. Um, where are they? <laughs> okay. Uh, my brother, oh, my brother's laughing like a, like a, like a, you know, a crazy person. Okay. Well, I bet we have the same kind of dad because mine is really freaking smart. He's scary. Like he knows what I'm feeling on my ways. Oh, I think my dad's kind of about feelings, but he's very, he's very, he feels very ISTP. <laughs> me and my dad are both ISTP, but he feels more ISTP than me. Like he's very logical. And you know, whenever I say something, it turns into an entire lecture. But to be fair, you know, he's very nice. He just cares for my well-being. But sometimes I just like, I don't want to listen to this. Just tell me the summary of the entire thing you want to say, and we're done. Okay, there you go. This is my son. There you go. Go follow my son. Um, S O D A J S O. Yeah. Also, my commissions are open for children. If you want to be my children, DM me. <laughs> please be a please be a daughter. Oh my God, your son. Yeah. I have like, I think all my children are sons, actually. Okay, but yeah, so many children. <laughs> but yeah, that's my one son over there. Yes, yes, when you ask a question, you guys have to do like your like freaking whole essay. Yeah, my dad's really chill though. He's chill when you don't make him mad. But if you get him mad, he's really scary. Okay, but anyway, yeah, my commissions are still open, so commissions. Like that one dream I had. <laughs> Like that one dream I had? Oh my god, Lays. <laughs> okay, but yellow paper fits more so much in words because it's bigger and since it's in humps, I need to write so many words. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, oh my god. I actually have like a, th a, a, th a thing on TikTok that I like watching as people like buying cute stuff on Shopee and then I save them so that maybe in the future I'll be like, ooh, maybe if I want to get that, I'll get it on Shopee because I saw a really cute one on Shopee. I don't know why. I'm a material girl. I literally just have an urge to spend money. Not actually, but you know, whenever the chance is there, I'm like, I just have to spend money. I'm a material girl. Okay, this hand looks awfully, um, weird. Okay, there you go. Pocky or Pepero? Blood and time Pepero. I prefer Pepero more. I don't know, Pocky is nice, so I prefer Pepero more, a bit more. Yeah, I think Pepero's a bit more expensive though, probably. But I think it's a lot better. Yeah, the Shopee school dictionary is so cute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So true. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I didn't sneeze. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. I didn't sneeze. Okay. Let's continue. But yeah, I, I just like looking at stuff on Shopee and I'm like, ooh, maybe that would look nice. That would look nice, but I have no money, so I don't buy anything. I didn't sneeze. <laughs> I thought I was gonna sneeze, but it didn't come out. It didn't come out. Oh, wait, my, why did the image come back? Okay. <laughs> Jump scare. But yes, my commissions are still open. DM me on Twitter. Or if you're on my Discord, you can just... Um, I think you can just shoot me a message, probably. Okay, there you go. But yeah, since I don't really have any models to work on at the moment, I might try to work on a model for myself, like a YouTube model. Oh wait, let me actually move to the to the to the other model. Let me go back to my other model. Just for me long. I just want to use my other model. Pocky has more on quantity, but Rose quality, like damn, everybody's a strong crunch. Yeah, right? Mm, use every model. That'd be very like an like an April Fool's prank where I just use my children's model. But I can't do that. I must ask permission, of course, for my children. Consent. Okay. 
And also, since I don't really have, you know, a child to work on at the moment, I think I might actually work on this one that I had for a long time. Uh, I made them because I made them out of spite. <laughs> because I didn't have any, uh, you know, I don't have any... That was then? Where are they? Okay, there you go. I don't have a a girl model. I don't have a child, so like... I made a model of a girl with big boobs out of spite. Cause you know, like, no one- All my sons and no daughters! Wait, where, where's the image? Fuck. Where are they? Can't find them. My god. Oh, here they are. Oh, wait, the file's really big. Let me make them smaller. This one, this one, with every other one, I don't think boob option. <laughs> Maybe I should. Okay, there you go. This, this, this daughter. I might rig her. I tried to sell her, but eh, no luck. I think maybe I'll just keep her until, I don't know. But I'll probably rig her for practice. I've never really rigged a, a girl model other than my own. So there you go. She's also really cute, not gonna lie. If maybe I acted a lot more cold, maybe I would suit this model. Not gonna lie, I like the colors a lot. Yeah. Very cutie. But yeah. You can use it as your testing dummy. Yeah, it's probably gonna be my testing dummy until I end up. Yeah. I think I, think I was gonna, okay, that's my brother. <laughs> I think I uh, almost got someone to buy it from me, but they haven't talked to me in a while, so. They haven't messaged me in a while, so they probably, you know, uh, decided not to get it. Sadly. That was my first daughter. Gotta work in character design. She's funky. I I wish I could make- oh my god. Like, people that make really intricate character designs are so cool. I could never. I'm not really one for character design most of the time. I think my best character is the one that I have now. You know, my character. I think her most distinctive part is her, you know, her hair. I did pretty poggers with that one, not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully I can, you know, get, get a character design. That's, that's, that's the dream, that's the dream to have many children. <laughs> okay, there you go. And also maybe I'll do a raffle. I've been thinking about that, like doing a live 2D raffle. I see him a lot on Twitter, and you know, since I'm not, if I don't have any one to work on for the for the meantime, maybe I'll look for someone that maybe would actually, you know, really want a model on Twitter, and maybe if they win the RNG, I'll make them. I'll make one for them. I think it's like a really nice idea, <laughs> but you know, eh, it's a lot of enough to set up a raffle. Okay, there you go. But I did used to make OCs a lot. My OCs were not really, really good in character design. They look kind of plain. Well, to be fair, my, my, you know, my stories back then were literally just, uh, simple stories, nothing like fantastical and stuff like that. So it was just really normal designs. Actually, I should do that. Whenever I, whenever I decide to do an on-cam stream again, I think I might try doing a, like, a traditional art stream. Or maybe I do watercolor. I don't know. I actually do want to do a stream where I've seen a lot of this on TikTok where they make paper origami flowers. I can just do that. Like, I'll make origami flowers. And I'll, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with them, actually. <laughs> They're just gonna stay with me. I guess I'm gonna put them in my room, I guess. But yeah, that'll be really cute to do. And I'll show off some of my old, really bad art on stream, because why not? I'll show off all my really bad art. Because whenever I clean my room, you know, you always have that moment like, oh my god, I didn't know I had this, oh my god, let me, let me like not clean my room for the next hour and just look at all my old notebooks and old stuff. Show all of them? <laughs> sure, sure, sure. But yeah, it happens when I'm cleaning my room. It happens quite a bit. It happens way too often.
Okay, nice. Show all of them. How about you? How are you withdrawing? Or are you too busy to draw? To be fair, I would also like, you know, if I was really caught up on school, maybe I wouldn't be able to draw as often. Some stuff I want to do is maybe change my overlays. To be fair, my overlays are not that bad, right? Yeah, I think I'm, you know what? No, I won't change my overlays. Maybe I'll not, I'll change the, uh, the background image. Oh my god, I drew again last night? Really? What did you draw? So like, uh, the background image that I have here, um, how do I... Oh, hi. Oh, wait. <laughs> hi. Okay, there you go. This is my background image. It's an Im it's literally the image that I use for my starting screen and stuff like that. Maybe I'll change it a little bit. Yeah, I'll help. Oh, <laughs> dad! <laughs> okay, I'll probably change it, yeah. I'll change my background overlay, but I do quite like my overlays. They're simple. Some people have asked if I do overlay commissions, which I am not necessarily, you know, a graphic designer, really. Literally, all my graphic designer experience is all from Canva. And it's, <laughs> I mean, if you're fine with me doing a Canva commission, then sure. But no, I don't want to. I, I literally like, you know, I don't get how some people use other other programs that's not Canva for graphic design because Canva saves my life so much, damn. Like Canva be do uh, saving my graphic design ass. <laughs> like when I am, I didn't realize how much I missed drawing until I started doing a sketch. You don't realize it, yeah. I'm glad, what did you draw? I do also should try doing um, like drawing practices. Maybe I'll look up some people on Pinterest and I'll draw them on stream. Like, you know, try to draw an actual person. Because <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> Real people? No. He's so pretty. Wait, I'm gonna send a pic. Oh, I'm to a person. Okay, okay. Shout, shout, shout. Oh yeah, also, actually, I, this is kind of experimental, but I think I might try my hand on a schedule. So I made this kind of like really use scuff schedule template. Also via Canva, thank you Canva for saving my ass, sponsor when. <laughs> I would be the best person to get a sponsor by Canva because literally I use it for everything. Okay, but here you go. This is like a really stuff um, schedule template that I made. Um, hopefully if I make one, I might try making one for a week and see how I do about following it. <laughs> Cause I'm scared that if I do a schedule, you know, I'm not gonna be able to follow it and, and stuff like that. But I'll I'll try it out. I'll try it out and see how that works. You're gonna use the model as testing dummy. Does that mean there's a rigging stream? Ooh, you wanna see that? I'm actually kind of like whenever I I actually kind of like I don't know why I just not I get uh self conscious whenever I do rigging on stream because my rigging is nothing really good. But you know what? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I do a lot of work off stream because you know I, I want to be productive. But I think for rigging, it's not necessarily work. It's just like a thing that I want to try doing. And maybe I will. Maybe I will rig it on stream. Yeah. I don't do it very often as well. And also, I'm not necessarily the best person to uh, ask tips from because I'm also still learning myself. So. So he tried us on rigger. Well, yeah, it's educational. Nice. Okay, but yeah. This is the schedule template that I probably will post on Discord and on Twitter whenever I... Whenever I, you know, make one, hope maybe by, hmm, maybe I'll have a schedule by next week since it's Wednesday. <laughs> It'd be very weird if I had a schedule for Wednesday, I uh, started by, by Wednesday since, you know, it starts every Sunday, Saturday. So maybe by Saturday, I'll have a schedule. Literally in love with my drawing. Really? Okay, wait, let me look at this. Can I show it on stream? Or no. <gasps> Cute! Nice! Cute! Yes, no man! Yeah, go show. Okay. Uh, how do I show this? Yeah, I can really learn as well to do that. Like, do more practice with actual images. Because I think that would help a lot, really. With my journey to art. Okay, there you go. Cute! I want to be able to draw actual people. As, as funny as, as that sounds, but 
you know, it may, it, I want to be able to draw actual people as much as I, literally I love that I drew, I want to kiss her. Oh my God. Being attracted by her own art, Tascaru. <laughs> Whenever you just draw a person, it's like, oh shit, they're kind of hot. <laughs> like me, me, whenever I draw an OC, literally. Okay. Nice! So real! <laughs> Man, why must you fall? F why must we fall for not real people? Okay, there you go. Also, I recently, like, uh, caught up with a friend of mine, and they seem really pogging. I haven't talked to them for a long while, but it's very nice whenever they're the one that comes up to me to talk, because I'm, you know, I'm very awkward, and I'm never the one to go like, hey, how are you? It's most of the time them, but I feel bad. But I appreciate that they, they want to talk to me. I literally need a laptop, I just practice digital art, I just practice on phone, man. Well, I think, like, you know... I think practicing on paper is the best <laughs> way for just like, even if it's not necessarily just coloring, it's like just um like working on anatomy and stuff like that. It's easier to do it via, you know, paper. Though I do understand that you want to le lean more to digital. I understand that you want to lean more to digital art. It's just better to learn, to learn via an paper since you know it's that's just the basis really but to be fair like i the reason why i moved the two digital was because of coloring i hated coloring coloring is so much easier in digital and i hate the mediums of coloring like cut pencils eh, and i like uh, pastels and eh, paint and eh, i didn't like them at all the same bit yeah it's so much work to color <laughs> A bump chicken song? Yeah! They did so poggers with the uh the new Spikes family opening. Really pog, really pog. I love Bump and Chicken. I think this song is from uh the one it's a shoujo movie. Uh Omoe Omoare Furi Furare. I forgot the, the English title, but something like that. Yeah, I really like this song. I hate coloring so much. Yeah, also because like if you want, for example, like, you know, when I was younger, I really wanted those fucking Copic markers. I was like, Copic markers, Copic markers, I need Copic markers. Because, you know, they, they, they blend and they're alcohol and they're really cool. You know, they're just like the, the, the most poggers art material out there. And I literally, like, you know, I could achieve the same thing with like digitally. So <laughs> I do kind of fear, though, that when I go into fine arts, I think, I'm not really sure what I'm taking for college yet. But, you know, if they ask for, like, an actual solid medium, I'm gonna suck so bad. I fear that, and I don't work, I don't work with, like, like um physical mediums anymore. But, you know what? When the ta multimedia, yeah, I'll help do that. Multimedia. Arts. When the time comes, that's when I'll learn, don't worry. <laughs> Those are slay. I never really tried them. Actually, I remember one time I saw them. That was I saw them at a weirdly enough at a uh, at like a like a car store. They like they like sold car parts. That's where I saw it. And I didn't even know what they were at the time. I was like, oh, those are like really cool markers. I was like, why are they so expensive? Until until like you know now I realized. I was like, oh my god, that's what those were. Okay, wait. Uh, do I want to work with these colors? Eh, you know, I will, yeah. Let's get the, uh, the vibes. Nice. Okay, there you go. But yeah, I do want to try getting into more bubble chicken. Like, the artist. Whenever I have songs on Spotify, most of the time, it's like... It's, a, uh, It's like... Only one song on the discography that I heard from an anime. <laughs> And I know that, you know, I should probably just look more into the artists and maybe there's a lot more songs from them I'd like. I have a lot of songs in my playlist where it's literally like one artist, one song. 
or maybe like two songs. And that sets me because it's like I've only heard about one song from somewhere and I'm too lazy to look at the other songs they've made, literally. I'll call Marcus expensive for real. For real, they're so expensive. So yeah, I was like, eh, just don't have to. In my head, I was like, art materials expensive as fuck. There's so many free art programs out there. Let me do that. Yeah, also, like, you know, uh, if you run out of the alcohol marker, you have to buy a new one. But, you know, it's digitally, it's just a lot cheaper. I mean, of course, you need, you know, you need the equipment. But it's like, you know, it's like a one-time use until they break. You could, like, you could keep on using that thing for so long. The clap of Pokemon and Mom Chicken made me cry. Wait! Oh, was it the anime? Oh, right, they did do the music for that. That was the anime, right? Like, it was, like, a an animation. I have to look at that, actually. I remember that, actually. I remember it. Yeah, I remember it. I remember it. Why did I say actually so many times in that one sentence? <laughs> I think art materials are, like, the better quality, the more expensive. Yeah, that makes more sense, of course. But with, with uh, programs, it just runs down to, um, it runs down to, like, um, the, the more tools that it has, the more, like, stuff that it has to offer. Like, for example, Clip Studio is really poggers because um, it has to offer, like, 3D models. It has, like, a whole selection of brushes for free and to pay on their you know, on their site, made by other people, which is really cool. And um, a lot of other 3D model assets that you can use in Clip Studio Paint. Which is like, I, that's why personally I like using it. It's really poggers. And with um, tablets, I think like with tablets, they're kind of generally, you know, around like the same in terms of using it, maybe the only difference is like Bluetooth, um, Bluetooth buttons, um, stuff like that, and size, so yeah. Like I bought a beginner drawing tablet, cost me two, two, five, all I gotta do is skill baby. Mm. Yeah, and like, you know, if you don't break it, and I don't know how you'll I don't know how you'll break it, but you you can keep on using it for a very long time. Like you don't really need a display tablet. Even the drawing tablets are really good. You just have to get used to like looking at a laptop screen and not you know looking at exactly where you're drawing because when you're drawing on a tablet, you're looking straight ahead and your hand is working on the on the tablet. It was hard to get used to, but I ended up getting used to it. And, you know, drawing display tablets are basically just another monitor, but it's, you know, you can, it's, it's pen, you can use a pen. That's basically what they are, so. Even a drawing tablet's really foggers. Even if it's small, it's really nice. If motherfucker is never breaking, I'm gonna keep until it's falling apart, which is understandable. You don't need an upgrade unless, you know. Because, like, I guess with a tablet, it's not that much of a difference with using it. Your art isn't magically gonna be really good if out of the window. Like, if a beginner artist was like, "Oh, I want to start into drawing. I want to start drawing," and then they start, they buy like a Cintiq. I think that's one of the expensive ones. Like, they buy a Cintiq tablet. That's no guarantee that they're gonna be very good off the bat just because they have a really expensive tablet. You need the skill. That is skill. That's what you need. You don't need a lot of expensive stuff. Even for, of course, like traditional but i think with traditional quality does show when you have better quality does show whenever you have better uh materials because there are some artists out there that draw with their finger on ibis paint and it looks amazing it looks so much it looks so good so much detail literally so definitely that's why oh oops that's why uh, digital art is so pog Art is a skill and a talent, and skill is a must be, must be practice. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't like the, which I don't, I understand. A lot of people don't like the, you know, oh, you're just good because you're talented. 
I understand like a person being like having maybe a skill for it, like having a knack at it. But of course, like if they don't choose to get better at it, they're not gonna get better at it. And even if you know, even if I told a person like, oh, um, my dad always has we have like a, we have an art background. We're where it's like you know, even if I tell people that, and they were like, oh, you're just really good because you have an art background, which is like, but you know. I wouldn't be this good if I chose to stop. If I chose to like not learn it at all and keep doing it. I was paid finger artists are so strong. Yeah. Chad. Their arts, they're like their fingers doing work. It's crazy. <laughs> I've actually myself been meaning to like get an iPad. But iPads are so expensive, Jesus. Like, man, fuck. It's so expensive! The iPad, I hope maybe, maybe in the future I can get one. But at the moment, maybe it's good if you're like, you know, if you wanna work on the go. But, you know, at the moment, I'm not necessarily glued. I'm always at home, so I'm always, I'm always in front of my laptop, so I don't mind my display tablet. <laughs> Their finger has abs. Like, wow, so skilled. Yeah, I had a friend who drew with a um, drew with a trackpad, like their laptop trackpad, not even a mouse. Their trackpad. It's like, what? How do you do that? It's like they have like the cleanest lines ever. They do solid line arts. How did you do it with your hands? Like, I can't even do that. Jesus. If you don't want to go for the iPad, get a Huawei Mate Pad. Mate? Oh, Matt. That's probably Matt. <laughs> Mate Pad. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll check it out. There you go. But yeah, I just kind of want... I kind of want an iPad just for Procreate, not gonna lie. I really want to try Procreate out. Because so many people use Procreate. And I believe it's only an Apple thing. It's only an Apple program, so I do want to try. I do want to try Procreate. I've I've heard of many really good um, really good. What do you call that? Um, art from it, and many good tips and features they have. You won't go. You won't get Procreate, but you know, Medibank's there. <laughs> Medibank is pretty nice as well. I just didn't like Medibang because of the limited brush options. That's why that's why I decided to get Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio 2, yeah! Though I believe Clip Studio on the iPad is subscription based, which is not very pog. It's like so it's not like a one time purchase like in the uh the PC. You need a uh it's like a subscription for iPad Clip Studio Paint. Which we did not like prescriptions. Created at least an Android app, really? Oh yeah, Medibang was also on. Oh yeah, Medibang was also, you know. A thousand, a mobile app. I only use Ibis, which to be fair, Ibis is really nice as well. Ibis is really good, really good uh, pens, like really good brushes, really, really good brushes. I miss some of the, like I just go on Pinterest and search up Ibis brushes and there you go. I found my brushes on Ibis Paint. Literally so easy. I love that about Ibis. And also I really like a lot of their other features. I believe they do have a, an, uh, a PC program coming out. It's already out, but it's like a uh, really, it's like really beta. It's not that good so far. Maybe they're still improving on it, but yeah. Ibis is really slay. Like if I was get an iPad, maybe I w I would still go back. I would go back to using Ibis Paint. It's just so nice. I just really enjoy using that. Ibis has a three D models now, right? Really? They do? Um, they did. Maybe they maybe they do now. But when I used it, they didn't have that. Really? That's really cool then. Pinterest, DeviantArt, Pixit, etc. have the best full references, man. Yeah, they're pretty good, yeah. 
I don't use Pixiv that off that much. I actually I did make a Pixiv, but you know I think it's just mostly for Japanese. I know. It also was a pain in the ass to like literally Google Translate tags, <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> it was very it was very hard. <laughs> Okay, man. One thing I also like, I I don't I, I hate color theory. I hate having to like trying to make colors work. I hate that so much. Okay. Should I just follow the colors that I used here? You know what? Fuck it. I will. I will follow the colors I used here. Okay. There you go. But sadly, like, those places, like, sadly, the even arts, you know, it's not as much anymore, but sadly, like, you know, Pinterest, many references, but no credits, sadly. Many theft there on Pinterest. I'm so shit at colors. I don't get, yeah, like, I wish there was an, I really should look into that, like, picking good colors for art. I think I do have an eye for colors. But I don't, like, I don't, I don't, it's hard for me to make them, um, it's hard for me to make them work, you know? I'm using color palettes, I'm not gonna lie, it's, like, it's very smart, you know, like, using color palettes, establish color palettes to make your art. Also, one thing I remember, so before streaming, I, like, literally, not that I was big on Instagram, but I would actually, like, really try hard to post stuff on Instagram, and I ended up giving up. But one thing I didn't like about, like, you know, my art during that time was that people's feeds on Instagram were so aesthetic. Like, they had a designated theme, and they had a color palette, it was aesthetic to look at their feed. And it was like, man, why can't I be like that? Why can't I just have one color palette thing? Which, to be fair, I think maybe these artists are, like, choosing to do that because it's Instagram and they want to have their feed look good. But I think I was just too, you know, I just didn't want to stick to one color palette. I didn't really like that. It's too much work to do. It's too much work to do that, really. <laughs> okay. I tried to do good on IG too, too hard. I like Twitter better. Yeah, honestly, Twitter... Like, Twitter is, like, really good for art. I never used it in the beginning, and I've heard that, like, oh, Twitter is kind of eh for art. But now that I'm, like, I'm not I'm actually using it, it's like, no, it's actually really good for art. And now that I'm in the coloring phase, I don't know what to do. Fuck. <laughs> this is the idea. I think this is, this is, this was the, uh, first draft of it. Fuck. Okay, wait. There you go. This is, like, a first draft of what it would look like. Um, I didn't color the bag, so don't mind that. Don't forget Handy. <laughs> Very true. But yeah, but now that I'm like, eh, fuck, fuck colors. I hate colors. But yeah, Twitter is like, you know, I think it's, it's still hard to grow, but it's better for growth. Because you actually, I think you, you get a better chance getting um, clients there. You get a, you, I think you get a better chance of getting clients in Twitter. Shio, I have that shirt. Really? You do? Loki want that. <laughs> Give me your shirt. No I'm kidding. <laughs> it was nice catching up with you, Shio, and I have to leave. Aw, thank you, Ria. Looking forward to uh, seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, but yeah, this is the idea. See you have booba? Always have. I always have had booba. What do you mean? Always have had. <laughs> okay, but anyway, it just grows bigger over time. <laughs> oh, hi, Miss Yasia, how are you doing? I'm doing really good. Uh, uh, going to your model. I have not been, like, catching up on other people's streams, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> I just haven't, you know, have been in the mood. But I was, you've been doing a lot of stuff. Also, your Gortober looks really good. Your Gortober looks really good. Oh, yeah, I should probably, at the beginning of October, I was going to be like, oh, I'm going to follow, you know, like, you know where people do Inktober, like something, something Tober where I draw every day, but then I ended up not beginning. 
it's either I catch up now or I'm already five days late, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I probably won't, not gonna lie, but whatever. Hey, but thank you for stopping by, Misaki. Thank you. Okay, but there you go. Oh, thank you. I'm happy to see you stream again. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Hopefully, I can stop by people's streams more often. Also, yours. I'd love to uh, uh, see what you've been up to. You've been doing a lot of digital, I'm sorry, traditional art streams, which maybe I should do as well. But to be fair, nothing much gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not really good at like traditional as I am with digital. The the the, uh, the contrast and uh, skill with those two is very big. <laughs> okay, so fuck colors. I think I just might. I'll probably exper experiment with colors in the in the meantime. So. Maybe what I'll do when I is I'll just make the backgrounds. You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that first. I'll just make the backgrounds. Okay, let's let's make this cleaner. <laughs> yes, this Dartober this month is gonna be full of traditional art streams. Ah, hopefully I can catch it. I'd love to see. I'd love to see it very much. Also, man, another reason why I didn't like traditional was because line art. I don't even do line art like really anymore. On. Like, I do line art kind of, but not as, like, you know, like, it's very rough, and it's not necessarily as, like, you know, I know as other people, where they have really, like, precise pen pressure ink lines. I can't do that. Like, I literally can't do that. But I hate it in traditional where, you know, I draw, and then, like, you know, I can't erase the pen. I can't erase it. Line art is evil. I just clean my sketch. Yeah, that makes more sense. But also, like, you know, whenever you color over pencil, it depends, because it's like, you know. Yeah. Lately, my computer is not my friend. I need to play games while using my model anymore. Oh, my God. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> yeah, my laptop's been kind of dying as well. I can't, Genshin's been kind of hard recently. Yeah, I can't, can't stream Genshin as I used to, sadly. So like hopefully hopefully I can get an upgrade on my laptop like upgrade the RAM or something like that. Really annoying because I I want to stream Genshin. Genshin's like my default game. So what else am I gonna play? How taker. Ah, uh, my brother talked. Sorry, he's talking to his friends. Hey, I'm back. How exactly? It's so sad. Yeah. Candy Crush. Brio, thank you. Actually, one game I do want to try, hopefully I can get my phone to link to my laptop in a way. I don't know how, but I really, weirdly enough, want to try Project Sekai. It looks cute. It looks cute. And also, is it because I watched Anna play Project Sekai? Yes, it's because I watched Anna play Project Sekai. But it looks cute, and it's a rhythm game, so why not? Uh, I'm not sure if I can stream it, though. I'll probably give it a try on my own time on my phone. Because, uh... I do quite like, I don't get how you can play rhythm games on the on the laptop, on the like PC. I, I'm not an Osu player. <laughs> I'll probably try, I'll probably try Osu at some point. But I do quite like, you know, phone, well, phone rhythm games because they're easier. You know, just get your fingers on there. So yeah, maybe I'll try Project Sekai at some point. Ah, excuse me. Okay, there we go. I do wish I could upgrade so I can play more games. But whatever, I work with what I got. How do I make straight lines? <laughs> the ruler tool in Clip Studio Paint is not my favorite. I do quite like the uh, the ruler tool more in a. Uh... What's this? What the liquify? Oh, that's liquify. Okay, I got the new update, the latest update for Clip Studio Paint, so I don't get how some of these other features are. Okay, there you go. But yeah, I did not like line art with traditional. Cause, oh my god, it's literally the it's literally the whole thing of like, oh, you draw over your sketch looks so good, and then you line art it and it looks so bad. That's me every time with digital. With oh sorry, with traditional. With digital, it's not so bad anymore because um you know I chose to not really do clean clean line art. Both traditional, it's 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 a pain. 
Also, if I made a mistake, I can't erase it. The worst part of the traditional. And so finally, home. I'm trying to draw to go to October. Today's drawing is gonna be sick. Really? I'm looking forward to it. I do see. I, I have seen it a lot on Twitter. Really cool. Those that follow along with the thing. I just can't get in myself to draw every day. I think I kind of tried to do that for on Instagram for like a thing, but then I gave up. It's too hard. Okay, that's how you, oh shit, I didn't know I could do that. Okay, wait, how do I do this? Like that? Ooh, okay. Let me try this out actually. I didn't know they had that guide. Ooh, that's cute. Okay. <laughs> Shio finds out Clip Studio, Clip Studio Ruler. Discovers. Shio discovers Clip Studio Ruler. I can't speak, wow. Also, 127 times? Sheesh. Yeah, traditional arts is so paid, and plus that's all I can do for now until I get a laptop. Um, good luck. Okay. I'm joining the Gortorba thingy since 2017, year by year, enjoying it more and more. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm not really one for gore, but like the way you drew the, uh, how do you call that? The, uh, all the, what do you call that? All the, the blood and all that. It's really good. Don't you just hold shift then draw? The thing about holding shift is you get a straight line, but you're not sure if it's straight, straight. Because um, you don't you don't know if it's like maybe a little bit off center and stuff like that. So I'm not really one for using. If, I, if I'm like making it like this and like this, like straight vertical and straight horizontal, I don't like using the shift that much. But if it's not necessarily like, you know, like that, then I would use the shift. But because I want it to be super straight and super horizontal, then I don't like using the shift that much. Shift is not my brand. Ah, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Looking at gory stuff is like, your art is really cool for the gory stuff. Like the way you did the blood really potters. Okay, there you go. Oh my god! I like how I just found out about this. Kind of fun that I'm using only red ball pen and... Ooh! Yeah, that's really cool. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Okay, poggers. Mm, okay. Nice. I think I also looking at my art style throughout the years. I'm kind of at a comfortable point in my art style where I'm like, yeah, I'm not mad about my art style. It's like, okay. Yeah, but back then, I remember a time where my art style was like, oh, I hated it so bad. I did not like it. I try my best to like get rid of that art style, literally. Who's your favorite artist? Ooh. Oh, ha. Liana, hello, hello. Your art's really good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, all right, see so you. Ah, hi, hello. Welcome back. Did you tell, uh, did you, did I tell you about another? Oh, really? Did you? Tell me, <laughs> tell me all about him. <laughs> Who's your favorite artist? Ooh, that's kind of hard. I, I feel like I don't really have like an artist artist. Kind of hard. Yo, I love your art still so much. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, who are some of my 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 favorite artists? I think hmm, this is kind of hard. I think a lot of them are yeah. Who do I follow on Twitter? <laughs> should I send a link of her stream? Yeah. Oh, she's live right now. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Maybe maybe after I stream, I'll do a raid. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, oh, okay. Wait, let me copy it. Let me copy it. Then later we'll uh, later I'll check it out if they're still live and stuff like that. Okay, there you go. But favorite artist, I think I can't really pinpoint what artist really influenced my art style now. So I feel like it's an amalgamation of a lot of artists. But one artist I really like is Yamako. 
they're on uh, Twitter. They do a lot of um, art for this one. They make music, like Japanese music, and it's really got a. Oh, no worries! Have a nice lunch! Have a nice lunch! Speaking of lunch, I have not eaten for three hours since I've woken up. <laughs> I should probably go get food really quick. Okay, let me get food really, really quick. Sorry about that. Let me get food! I'm back! Is that a bread VTuber? Is there actual bread? I feel bad whenever I call myself a bread VTuber because I'm not actually a bread, so... <laughs> okay, let me go back. It's pretty relatable as a beginner to hate your own art when you're a beginner. In my class, I'm the most out of all students who hates their... Yeah, I... F oh, good morning! Good momo! Good momo! <laughs> How are you, Samiru? Hello! Okay, there you go. But yeah, I always felt that with my art, like in class, I never felt like I was, okay, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I never felt like I was the better artist. Whenever I was in my class, I always felt like I was an artist kid, but I was never like the best artist kid. You know what I mean? Not to say that I want to be better than everyone else. I just, I just, just like, you know, it's just a thing. You feel that it's, it's normal. It's normal, it's normal. But yeah, that's how I felt whenever I was at school. But now, not so much. To be fair, I'm not meeting people either, so. But, you know, now I'm not so down about my art style. I'm also friends with a microwave VTuber. You're just ticking all of them appliance VTubers. Appliance and bread VTubers. Really poggers. There you go. You found a stove VTuber yet? A stove? How'd that work? They'd like, oh, that'd be actually really cool if it could like, if there's a way that it could like adjust to its volume. Like imagine he was yelling, or the, like the, the stove feature was yelling, and then like, it's just a full flame. <laughs> it's just like a super, super high flames, and maybe when they're whispering, when they're whispering via flames, would it be as big? That would be so cool, yeah! I'm not sure how you could do that though, but... Honestly, rigging has gotten so good with VTuber models. Rigging and effects on how to do certain VTuber models have been so good. They could probably find a way to do that, not gonna lie. But it's gonna be hard. Yeah, I can't imagine rigging that. Can't imagine. Also, like, making sure that the fire has the little animation. That's really hard to make the, the fire thing. Making it look kind of real, you know? Yeah. But that'd be a really cool concept. I wasn't learning rigging. Oh, you're learning rigging? Good luck! Uh, rigging is hard. I think what I offer is the most basic rigging. Like what I'm doing now. And what I do for my model children right now. It's really basic rigging. Hopefully in the future I can, I'm able to, you know, do uh, more amazing rigging. Good luck! Yeah, good luck! Good luck, Jamie! I think you can do it. It's really cool. And also you can do so much with rigging when you know it. Like animated emotes. Um... Just animated pieces, like, you know, loop animations, that's not too hard, that can be achieved with rigging. Yeah, there's so much you can achieve with that. You got a personal project now, stove VTuber? The goal is the stove? I have to be so good at rigging, or I can do a stove VTuber. I mean, if that's the goal, then why not? Oh, oops, wait, why can't I? Okay, there you go. Nice. Okay, buggers. Let me get rid of all that. You're doing so good. Thank you. And now I want to quit. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's really hard. Oh, what are you? Um, what are you? Do you, you have you? Do you have? Is your is your model? Do you have a model like PSD of your model, or are you just working on like a dummy dummy model? Or is your model like ready to rig? 
Oh my god, I have so much white hair. Oh, like, you have white hair? <laughs> oh my god. I like how when I was younger, I was like, old people. No, wait, sorry. Um, Young people can't have white hair, but they absolutely can. Wait, what is that? Okay, never mind. I don't know why. Okay, anyway. Uh, Nisa, chill, hello, hello, how are you? To dummy. Oh, okay, I see, I see. To practice, that makes sense. Yeah. Even by practicing with a stick figure, that could actually work. Or like, I think, um, I think you're able, I think you can actually use the, uh, the live 2D models of the, uh, the VTube default model that they have there. I believe you can use them. Hope you're doing good. I'm doing really good. Thank you, Liana. Someone rig Doodle Bob. Oh my God. Did you see that there is a <laughs> Peppa Pig riggable <laughs> VTube model? My brother's coughing. Fuck. Let's hit it again. Okay. Did you know that there's like a Peppa Pig model? And it's Peppa. so funny. <laughs> Pe there's a Peppa Pig, and then there's a, uh, there's a, uh, Spongebob one. <laughs> I'm good, how about you? Sorry I've been gone for a long time. No, it's fine. It's fine, don't be worried, don't, don't worry about not being here and stuff like that. Thank you, though. But yeah, there's a Peppa Pig model, and then there's a, uh, there's a Spongebob model. Honestly, yeah. Rigging is getting so good. Though, of course, rigging is getting also very much expensive. She has also been gone a long time, don't worry. Yeah, I've been gone a long time too, so. <laughs> okay, wait, let me buy my food. Jesus. Okay, there you go. Oh. I have a, I have a word for your brother. He doesn't have to hear that. He doesn't deserve it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but thank you. I say as my brother. I say as my brother. <laughs> We missed you, thanks! <laughs> ah. Hmm. Okay. Like, people on... Of course, since I'm a VTuber, I follow a lot of other... VTubers. Um. Ah, okay. I haven't been, uh, it seems, it's so scary seeing Shio go full exorcist. Oh, my model. <gasps> this is a model glitching out. Oh my God. Okay. Ah, excuse me. Oh, what do you mean de often? Like, uh, like, uh, what do you call that? Uh, like not staying up? Well, that's a good thing. Sleep at a normal time. I have to watch your live while charging. <laughs> I don't do it anymore because, you know, it's kind of bad to use your phone while it's charging. But, you know, I can't, I can't be bothered. I have to use my phone while it's charging. I get, I get bored really easily. Okay, there you go. Degenning sounds like a skin care step. Degenning? What part would that be? What would, what would that part be? What that what part would that be, Lace? Oh my god, speaking of skincare, I've always I've always I'm still I'm still like, you know, my fashion, it's getting there. Next step is just being able to learn how to do makeup, which is very, you know I don't know how I'm gonna learn I don't know how I'm gonna learn that. Right before you exfoliate. Oh, exfoliating is uh, like, what was that? What was that? I believe it's like taking that dry skin. See, I know steps to skincare, but I don't do them because skincare products are expensive. And if I told my dad that I wanted to try it, but that would probably be like, you don't need that. You just need soap, which is understandable, but I want to try it out, you know? You'd probably be like, oh, all you need is soap. Why do you need all these stuff? Stuff. Well, no, I just want to feel, I want to feel nice and I feel clean like that. Here they go. My skincare is kind of just like, oh, hi, boss. How are you? My skincare is kind of just like, um, just wash the face and then ask it on. That's it. 
house hiatus. It was pretty. Um, it was boring, uh, miserable. But now I'm pogging. I feel in a better mood now, thankfully. Bros got Vondi on stereo. Yeah, Vondi is nice. I love Vondi. But you're the band, right? Yeah, I haven't listened to the other songs of the band yet. I only really know this song. I'll probably check it out though. Did you eat before streaming? Just saying, cause you might get hungry. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, not before. I'm actually eating right now. <laughs> Having some barbecue, barbecue. That's how Chad's do it. Just use soap on everybody except hair. Exactly. Like I wanna, you know, I wanna. I usually catch your streams early in the morning. Oh. All oh, right, yeah. I've been more adjusting to a later schedule for my streams. Just, you know, just, just for no reason, because I wake up late. <laughs> but I see, I see. The ranking of King's opening, they did, it goes fucking hard. Really? They did the ranking of King's opening? Okay. Oh, that's one, okay, yeah, that's one, open, that's one anime I should watch. Recently, I watched anime, and um, so, the last series I watched was, I finished Odd Taxi. It's pretty good, I like Odd Taxi. It's really good, just 12 episodes. I haven't watched the movie yet, but I believe the movie is just a recap with some additional stuff. So yeah, Odd Taxi is really pog. And then I watched a movie, it's called Bubble and it was okay. <laughs> it was an okay, it was an okay anime movie. It's kind of, it wasn't anything great. The animation was stellar, the story was meh, characters were meh. But I mean, uh, it was nice to look at at least. How you doing? I'm pretty good. Hopefully I can get back in the groove. Not push myself too hard again. Cause I am I am guilty of that. But how about you boss? How about you? Uh. Sorry, I'm chewing. <laughs> Through my food. Ah. Okay. <laughs> That's what my model. My, I saw my model. I saw my model went go full exorcist. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Ahem. Prelim exams got me on edge, but college is still fun so far. Really? You enjoy your college? That's nice though. I think it's nice if you enjoy school. Like, you know, it sounds... Um, it sounds like, you know, eh, you're forcing yourself. He's like, you're, you're not, you're not actually. You're just telling yourself that. Honestly, the best way to, you know, keep on doing a thing is to find a way to... Either find a way to enjoy doing it or just enjoy doing it in general. Everything I have to do right now is digital art. Nice! That's, 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 that's nice then. So it's it's bearable. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad. Okay, there you go. I changed my school, I got sad. Aw Yeah, I'll be I'll be having to move schools as well. Though I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I'm kinda I know. Is it weird to say that I'm not really opposed to the idea of moving schools? Because I know many people many people are like, oh I don't wanna move schools, you know? But me, I'm kinda like Maybe it's just because of my situation where I'm not really, uh, I'm not really friends with anyone anymore. <laughs> so it's like, you know what? Maybe moving schools won't be too bad. I get a new environment and I get new friends. <laughs> but, you know, I, I can't really say if I'm going to enjoy my new school or whether or not I'll make friends. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll be having to move new schools as well. Sooner or later, yeah. Drinking milk tea. Oh, nice! But it's finished. I'm not really a fan of milk tea. I mean, to be fair, I don't like tea either. I'm not a tea person. I have more coffee. I do enjoy them coffee. I do very much enjoy coffee. But like, I don't really like coffee on its own. 
I whenever I make coffee, like from like not from scratch, sorry. Whenever I prepare coffee, I get like white instant coffee, and then I get Milo, and I mix it together, and then I add a sh like a lot of milk, like a lot, a lot of milk, and then that's it. <laughs> that's my that's my coffee. <laughs> coffee gang, yeah. I have to mix it with some kind of sweet thing, or else I won't like it. Chocolate's the best thing to mix with my my uh, my coffee. And I'm back. Well, that was like, what are, what do you have for lunch? Coffee? Coffee is nice. Coffee is nice. Mm. Okay. I love coffee, but my drink when mom wants me to put her cup in the sink. <laughs> mood, mood. Ah. Ah. Pasta with meat mix, or how to describe it? Oh, that sounds really good, though. I just like noodles in general. No noodles is really good. I'm kind of afraid to drink coffee when I'm drawing because I feel more or less and less chill and that may cause huge effects, but I love coffee. Uh -huh. I don't really, maybe it's because I don't really have strong coffee. I like white coffee, which is like, you know, not, I, I assume it's not very strong because, you know, it's not like coffee ground, stuff like that. It's like mixing with like cream in it, so it's not really strong. But I don't really have coffee in big amounts. Because I'm not really a big, big fan of it. I like it when it's mixed with something else. That's kind of it, really. I'm not really, yeah. I don't, I'm not. I'm not really a big, big fan of it. I can live without it. But yeah, I just like I having. Understand. I just like having it sometimes. Also, whenever I do, whenever I, whenever I do have coffee, I don't really like get that much awakened. <laughs> I don't feel really that much. You know what I mean? What I'm supposed to feel when I drink coffee? That's not really how I feel after drinking coffee. I just think it tastes nice, I guess. Uh, welcome, Bobby! Hello, welcome back! How are you? My nails are grown? Ooh, I- I- I'm not gonna- So, like, I have a friend. And, like, they- Like, they got- like, they got their nails done. I was like, oh my god, you guys you got your nails done. And they're younger than me. They're like a, they're like a, like the kid of my dad's friend, so. We're not really the same age, but she's like 11, and she got her nails, and I was like, oh my god. <coughs> and like, I was like, huh. But not gonna lie, getting your nails done seems like a lot of work. <laughs> because, you know, you want to keep your nails clean, and. Yeah, I just cut my nails to, um, you know, to a. To a length. I don't really keep them long. I just, you know, I just cut them, whatever. It kind of gets uncomfortable, not gonna lie, just having long nails. Same when I like dark coffee, which is so different apart from my family when they all like sweet coffee, ex except me, who loves them strong. Ah, yeah, I think my dad likes them really strong as well. I'm not sure about my mom, though. But yeah, my dad likes it strong as well, strong coffee. Okay, there you go. You're still gonna art. I'm so proud. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> You're like my mom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, though. Okay, there you go. Okay, I think I might. Hmm. I'm kind of know about doing the inside because you know it's it's glass, so technically you should be able to see the inside. But do I want to go through all the work of drawing the inside? Even, do I want to do that or maybe a little bit? Yeah, I'll probably do it a little bit. Okay, how long have we been live? Two hours? Sheesh. Okay, I think maybe we might end it here then. Okay, where's our progress? Okay, that's our progress so far. <laughs> okay, I think we might end it here then. Okay, let me check out the uh the streamer that 
toasty scent, then maybe we'll raid them. Depending on what they're doing. Uh, where did I, where, where did it go? Where did I send it? My god. Okay, wow, I don't know where the fuck I sent it. Okay, uh, where's my Discord? I pasted it on Discord! Oh, wait, never mind, it's literally that. Fuck. <laughs> okay. But thank you all for joining! It's been a while since I've been live, so I'm glad that, you know, y'all are here. I try to tell them that I never give up. Yeah, don't give up. Very give true. Up okay, up. oops, that's that's my brother. He's being annoying again. Okay, <laughs> yo. Um, I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow. It's, you know, I'm not gonna go hard on myself again. So, yeah. Um, wait, hmm. Should we do a raid? You know what? Wait, actually, do I want to do a raid? Ah, you know what? I'm not gonna do a raid. Yeah, I'll, 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 we'll do a raid next time. Because uh, I have some stuff to do after. I don't think I can stick by to say hi to them, sadly. But okay. But well, thank you all for coming. Um, Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on the Discord. <laughs> How are you doing? And you, my brother. You don't have to ask about your brother. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't deserve to be asked about. Okay, but anyway. Thank you all for joining. And thank you all very much for coming. Um, I don't know what I'll do tomorrow. I don't even know how to stream tomorrow. But whatever. Just, just, just look out for me, I guess. <laughs> okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you.